What's up, guys? King Salami the Third here, and today we are playing as Aatrox in the jungle. Because originally I was actually going to make a Silas video, and then I tried Silas in the jungle, and let me tell you, I see exactly why he has a 39% win rate in the jungle. I could not clear the jungle to save my life, and it was really hard. All right, I like Yumi's enthusiasm here on the leash. <laughs> but anyways, playing Aatrox, I actually played a game of this earlier. Very, very, very fun. Like a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. You know, I'm still not completely sold on liking um, new Aatrox more than old Aatrox, but, but I'll give him credit where it's due. I'm coming around. I do enjoy playing new Aatrox, at least some now. But we are going to be at this jungle clear for a little while. So let's chat. A um, little fun fact, by the way, after playing that Silas jungle game, I was going to play Aatrox and then we needed AP and I actually played AP Sejuani, which I got to say, after playing AP Sejuani for that one game, I think I'm probably going to make a video of it because first, I mean, first of all, it was better than Silas. Not that that's a hard bar to pass. But it was actually really fun. <laughs> it was actually really fun. So y'all might be able to look forward to a uh, full AP Sejuani in the jungle video here soon. But to talk about Aatrox a little bit in our jungle clear. Oh man, this just feels so good. Oh, oh, I'm DCing for a second. Don't worry about it. I'm back. Is Garen okay? He's not. Was that my red? It wasn't. No. Okay. But Aatrox has a three-part Q like Riven. Um, each part of it has a sweet spot that you aim to hit. If you hit the sweet spot, it'll do a little more damage and knock up at the same time. Um, the W throws out a little chain that if it hits someone, they have a bit of time to get out of the zone that it will create. If they don't make it out, they'll get yoinked back into the middle. Your E is just a dash that has a passive of... Um, Making all of the damage you deal to champions grants you Omni Vamp. So lots of sustain there. And then your passive is the Deathbringer stance. Whenever I believe you hit with Qs and attacks, uh, it will reduce the cooldown of it. But when it is up, your next auto attack will do a bunch more damage and heal you for quite a good amount. Then your ultimate, the World Ender, is um, you kind of just sprout wings, get a little larger and get more AD, speed, and increasing of your self-healing. So congratulations, my little Pog champ. You are now an Aatrox master. Wait. Graves hasn't done this side of his jungle at all? Yo, Graves, what you been doing? What you been doing? Yo, I'll take a blue buff. Yo, I'll take everything. Okay. I thought just his Gromp was going to be up. I didn't expect the whole shebang to be up here as well. Man, that's just... Well, that's just fantastic. Another small thing that you just saw me do right there. You can actually use Aatrox's E as an auto attack resetting mechanic. Can we dive this? I don't think we can dive this. I gotta say. No, I'm just going to knock her up and just leave. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to dive it. I just wanted to walk out. Because uh, it was a little bit faster. But we'll just recall here. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, like I said, you can use that E as a uh, auto attack reset. Works like any other auto resetting mechanic. But to talk some about the build we're going to be doing, Gorge Rinker is going to be the one of choice today. We'll start off with our Iron Spike Whip. Because this item is OP for jungle clearing. And when I say OP, I'm not talking like, oh my god, 1000 AP my parents divorced me after this one levels of op i'm talking like it's actually op not clickbait op because not only does it do respectable damage it also deals 200 percent more damage to everyone below 50 percent hp for means of monsters below 50 percent hp and on such a short cooldown that actually helps your jungle clear a lot so feels good 
is good. We'll go into the Gore Drinker. And then after that, we've got a fun item interaction for all of you today, and that is with the Ravenous Hydra. Now, not only does Ravenous Hydra apply on every instance of my Q hitting things, like when I knock people up or hit them with my Ws, things like that, Gore Drinker itself will also hit every single person affected with a Ravenous Hydra spin. And let me tell you, that feels really good and it makes you a true sustained tank god. Now, as soon as... Okay, there we go. I was waiting for him to actually use that uh, knock-up Q. Because I don't really just want to waltz up behind him when he's got, you know, everything going for him. Well, let's see. Ooh, you're coming back here. Can I win this? Hmm. I thought about going really ham on that, but I don't think it was worth. I think me chunking him out there is good enough. I got some experience from chilling mid. And after I get my blue here... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can do the same thing. Launch my vision bush back in retaliation and anger. I think after I get this, I should get to six, and I think I can do something bottom. Because I do believe that's where Graves is going. So I'm going to go get myself primed and ready for a Graves gank. Because I'll be a little surprised, actually, if he doesn't come down here for this. Uh, as prophesized. Let's go ahead and bust the ult now. Ba Boom. And ah! there's one. I'm coming over for this guy. Boop. 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 Iron spike whip. Get that kill. Oh, Yone's coming down. I'm dipping. All right. Well, two of you died, but it's a sacrifice that I was willing to make because I got two kills myself, and that feels good, man. So that was also Lulu's flash. Uh, I suppose I should have gone under the turret there and gotten all that. What I'm going to do is actually kind of bring it over here. So this way, I can... No. <laughs> Just get a couple of those and get the experience for it while Jin is on his way back. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, just to make my recall a little smoother, um, I'm actually going to go clear the wolf camp and then recall. That way, both of my bottom side camps, or all three if you include the blue buff, are all down. So I don't need to come back down into the bottom side of my jungle to clear this camp when I'm done. Or after I recall, I mean... go back oh you know i could recall here or or and hear me out i could get 400 more gold and get my entire gore drinker in one purchase now how cool would that be my only concern is that i think graves might be at my red i'm just gonna w that it wasn't oh happy day hi karma how are you Oh, genius! The big brain plays by Karma. Yo, I thought she was just trolling around. But then she actually used her empowered W to get a fat heal off of my red buff. Okay. Okay. I see you, girl. I see you. And I am a little hesitant to try and gank the Fiora. Just because Fiora is, like, one of the hardest counter stage rocks in the game. That champion... I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. <laughs> and if you don't know why Fiora is actually like one of the hardest counters to Aatrox in the entire game, it's because your knockup is incredibly telegraphed. Oh, hello. I sniffed you out once again, Mr. Shotgun Frutado. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. You run from me? Eh. Yes! My flash was worth. If he goes over this wall, Garen was already on it, baby. Flash is over immediately. Yo, I am. Whew, I am playing this graves like a fiddle right now. Boy, you try and gank somewhere, not without the wings of justice showing up. So, Gore Drinker complete. We got half of our sustained god comp going. Now, instead of Iron Spike Whip, I hit everything in an area around me like a, ty or like a Tiamat active. 
and it heals me for a tremendous amount of my missing HP per champion I hit. On a very short cooldown, that is even further reduced by ability haste. So, very good stuff. Unfortunately, it actually does, fun fact, it actually does less damage to jungle camps than Iron Spike Whip, because this does not have the increase in damage uh, when champ or when minions are low, but still very good. Still very good. So. And I actually do think the Aatrox jungle does not feel bad at all. I've been having a lot of fun playing this. Can I get this? I don't think I can. Oh, you already use your dash, Sugar Plum. And... The heal? The knock-up? The plays! Deathbringer stance. Knows no victim. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, that... That was a really long double kill timer. <laughs> Wasn't it? Was that not like the longest double kill timer possible? What the? Oh, and a red buff? Oh, it is for me? Oh, you shouldn't have graves. You're too kind to me. You know what? I'll let I'll even let Jin have this one because it wasn't even mine in the first place. But you know, I spoiled this bot lane. I'm spoiling them. Actually, you know what? I'm not really spoiling them. It's kind of more like it's it's fair that I give them that red buff after letting them die to get myself some kills. Oh, hey Graves, how you doing? <laughs> Oh, man. Boom. Give him the slam jam. Boy, you don't want none of this, okay? I'm telling you right now, you don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. Mm. Yeah. You don't want none either, Lulu. Hit. Okay. What's up, Javen? How y'all doing? Hit. Mm, boom. Wait. Gorge Raker. E auto yes knock her up oh no knocking up lulu that belongs on a different website which uh no let's go get dragon let us go get dragon because that comes up in a couple seconds wait i'm six oh and two let's go oh, they have vision in this pit but i don't give a frick so hit that Drop the Q, because you can actually just kind of let your Q animation go through while you're getting knocked back by the dragon. So, oof, juicy heal. I should be able to solo this, no problem. And after this, I will... I was going to recall, but, like, I've got so much of my jungle up. It doesn't even matter that I've got money, dude. It doesn't even matter that I'm a rich bitch. The other thing that I really like about Aatrox is he just feels so satisfying to play. Like, now that I'm finally getting a lot more of the hang of him. I think that was one of my issues with how Aatrox was after he changed. I was so freaking bad with him for so long, man. And now it's like I'm finally getting it. And it does feel satisfying when you get it right. It was just so brutal when I was bad. How much is Ravenous Hydra now? 3,300, I want to say. Is that right? Rav... 3,300. Perfect. So if I just casually clear the rest of my jungle and casually kill, like, mid or something, then I can definitely... Can I dash over this wall? Oh. Oh, it's lit. That wall, thick. But my dash, thick. Er more thick. Boop. Drop the over the wall slam. smite this. You've been smoted -ed. I've actually gotten so much money. Alright. Maybe I can find Cigar Shotgun Man in his jungle. Is it bad that I'm actually still a little freaking scared to fight Fiora. Like, even though she's one in four, I'm actually a little hesitant to fight her still. 
Just because that's how hard of a counter this is. That is just how hard of a counter this is. All right, looks like I will be able to afford my luxurious Ravenous Hydra without a copious amount of murder. So, just murdering all the forest creatures. And let me tell you, the elves didn't like that very much, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't... I don't think Aatrox... Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe with ears like that, maybe Aatrox is an elf. Food for thought. Dude, I would... Oh, man, I would... that'd be cool if Aatrox was an elf. Are there any elf champions in League of Legends? Oh, well. Anyways, as you can see, with the Ravenous Hydra, every single thing I do now applies that AoE hit because it's your all of your attacks and your abilities now. It's not just attacks anymore like it used to be in Season 10 and every season before that, but it feels good now. And now I am the Sustain God because remember, with my ultimate up, all of my self-healing is increased by 75%. And at level 3, that's 100%. And look, as you just saw there, the Gore Drinker applies an AoE slam for every single individual that it hits. So, this combo, raunchy. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Yeah! Boom! Oh my good night, Graves. Thanks for the leash, brother. All right. Who else wants some? Hey, you want some? Come here, son. Okay, you know what? I didn't want it either. I want it! Wait, they exhausted me. Oh, he exhausted me. Can I just win this? Yeah. Let me just... Oh! The core drinker! Let's go, dude! Oh. My KDA was almost ruined there. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I I for I thought for a second there that I didn't have full health while I was in the jungle. That was honestly silly on my end. This dude had executioners for that too. No way. No. Oh no. Bam. <laughs> I keep seeing the eclipse shield and I'm like, where's the Lulu? Where is she? And I never see the Lulu because. Spoiler alert, she's not there. Oops. Hello. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, someone should handle that. The minions got it. And little do they know, it's actually a 4v5 right now because... I mean... Actually, I guess it is Yumi. She probably could have just, like, AFK'd on someone's body and left the game and no one would have noticed. But, like, I joke. A good dude, a good Yumi player is a freaking blessing. I've had a couple of them, and oh, baby. Feels so good. But, let's get some armor after this. Uh, I will be going Black Cleaver, but I do want my plated steel caps. Items just too good. Especially against a team that's, you know, AD auto attacking, AD auto attacking, auto. Like, these are four auto attacking focused AD champions. So. My little construction boots are just going to be way too damn good. Uh, does this still build in the cleaver? It sure does. So I'll grab Kindle Gym. And my Ravenous has already done 800 damage. My Gore Drinker's already thirsted for 1100 damage. You love to see it. You love to see it. And I would like my red buff but like i also want to go murder so if Jin happens to want that red buff i'm not gonna tell him not to take it you know you know i have a question for you all out there watching this video just out of my own curiosity whenever you guys are watching content especially things more along the lines of what i do like full game commentary do you prefer when people just straight up do not shut up and talk about everything to always be talking about something? Or do you prefer the quiet time? Because 
I know when I'm watching content, I actually prefer a little bit of quiet time. But when I'm making content, I always feel like I want to be talking. So I'm curious what y'all think. Let me know. I'm very curious. Ooh. Yeah, I just love watching all the waves just poof out around everything. It's so cool. So cool. That karma damage. Oh, get me out. Nope. I'm not very tanky. I also thought that we were going to like go really ham there as a team. But then it was just me. My KDA. All right. My misunderstanding. I thought we were going to go ham sandwich there. Not the case, huh? Not the case. But the, this kind of situation in the game is, like, really boring to me. Like, if they're going to do this, why not F it, you know? Like, if they're going to sit in their base in emo, then why not just F it? Because they want me to get more kills. I figured it out. All right, I'm on my way. I Message received. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oof. Oof. Ooh, I'm coming. Ooh, I want it. Ooh, I want it. I have one more longsword than I did when I last jumped into all of them. So let's do it. Hello. Hello, scoundrels. Tis I. Christmas-themed Aatrox. I don't know why, but this... Skin always makes me think of a the Christmas theme. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna alt and walk out of here for a second. I learned from last time. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, he flashed! Okay, I got her. Yeah. Come on! Come on, you bitch! Oh, okay. Heal up. Four drinker right in the middle of all of them. Yeah. Oh! No, 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 no! Heal! Heal! No! <laughs> Get your fucking executioners out of here, man. Garrett, go in the game. How have we not ended yet? We suck. Man, you guys are lucky I'm bad at this champion. And to think that I thought I was doing a little better earlier. But I'm just misplaying all left and right now. <sighs> oh my gosh. Now my team is just standing there. Someone do something. I want to go play World of Warcraft. Thank you. <laughs> GG, well played. Eight. 1,200 damage over 45 seconds. I'm sorry. I only have like 2,200 max health. And I took 8,200 damage. Now, hold on. Now hold you know I got to honor hot stuff 213 there because of the gin. But let's see. 20,000 damage almost. Top of the game. Not bad. But let's see the real stat. I did more healing than I did damage. Dude, I did... 27,000 healing. What? How much damage did I take? 39,000 damage? What the heck? What the... Oh my lord. Sustained God, dude. Oh man, that was fun. I know it was kind of like a, kind of a smash, but that was a really fun game regardless. Like it still felt really fun to play. So I hope you all enjoyed watching it. I had a really good time doing it. And if you did, make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the... Or not you guys, you all. There's, there's, there's ladies that watch our stuff. 
Let's be inclusive here. I mean, I use guys as like a general neutral term. Same with like dude and bro. So like, I don't know. That's just how I, that's, that's my chosen vernaculars. That's how I speak. But let me know what you all think about that whole commentary question. I am very curious. Um, what else? I, like, like, comment. Uh, if you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to be notified whenever I do upload it. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!